Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about Windows Copilot AI that is now available in Windows 10. And I'm going to show you how to enable it and what requirements you need to meet in order to have it on your Windows 10 operating system. So I think this is pretty interesting for a lot of users because I know that a lot of people still use Windows 10 and the Windows Copilot AI Assistant is now available in Windows 10 as well. In this video, I'm also going to show you how to enable it and all the needed steps. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one from the tech based channel. So let's begin with the video. First of all, on Windows 10, you're going to have to make sure that you are enrolled in the release preview channel of the Windows Insider program. So to do that, just open up the settings app, go to update and security, and you're going to have here Windows Insider program. And from here, you're going to be able to set up your insider settings. Just choose release preview, connect your Microsoft email, and you should be good to go. Just restart your system and you should receive the latest updates through Windows Update. Now also in settings, make sure you have the region set to United States because United States is one of the regions that has Copilot support. Copilot AI is of course not enabled in any region at the moment. And after you've done all this, of course, you're going to have to set up Vivetool. Vivetool is a tool that can help you enable certain hidden features or features that are slowly rolling out in Windows. So we're going to have Vivetool in the article below in the video description. You can get it from there. Make sure to download the latest version.zip. For example, version 0.3.3. You can open up the archive that you've just downloaded using the default extracting tool from Windows 10, which is File Explorer. Click on Extract All inside Compressed Folder Tools, click on Browse, and make sure you extract it into a folder in Local Disk C. For example, I created a folder in Local Disk C called Hidden Features. Select that folder and extract it there. In my case, you can extract it wherever you want, but you're going to have to specify that location whenever we are running the commands inside CMD. So we're going to extract things there. Now we're good to go. We can open up the CMD as administrator. So just search for CMD and then click on Run as administrator. On user account control, of course, click on yes. And here you're going to have to type in Vivetool slash enable slash ID. And we're going to have three different IDs. One of them is 466-86174. Then comma 475-30616. Then another comma with the last ID 447-55019. Press enter. And you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. You're going to have this command in the article below as well. So you can get it from there. Just copy and paste and you should be good to go. A huge shout out to Albacore on Twitter. He provided the IDs and also some other information about how to enable Copilot. So shout out to him. You can go ahead and follow him on Twitter because he does a great job by finding certain hidden features inside Windows. Another step would be to open up the registry editor, type in the search box registry, right click on the registry editor and then run as administrator and on user account control again, click on yes. Then here expand H key current user, then software, then Microsoft, scroll down to Windows and then shell. And you're going to see here Copilot, expand Copilot, go inside Bing chat and you're going to have here the D word is user eligible, double click on it and make sure the value data is set to one and then you should be good to go. Of course, after that, make sure you do a restart and the changes should be applied and you're going to notice Copilot inside your taskbar in the right side of the taskbar. This is very early in preview, so there are no additional settings or options in the taskbar to disable, enable or anything. And of course, make sure you test this out on a machine that is not your main machine because you could encounter bugs. And if we click on it, Copilot will open. As you can see, Copilot AI, we have it here. It's looking the same as in Windows 11. Of course, you can do all the tasks from there. So for those of you who don't know, Windows Copilot AI is an assistant that can do a lot of tasks for you. For example, help you optimize Windows, recommend you certain energy consumption saving settings and all of that, open apps, generate images and more. Of course, a lot of those functions are not currently working as expected in Windows 10 because this is very early in preview. But in the near future, of course, Microsoft will improve Copilot even on Windows 10. If you want to learn more about Copilot and what it can do, you can check out other videos from my channel. I've covered Copilot in multiple videos, so you can check that out if you wanted to. So basically, this was the video. I showed you how to enable Copilot on Windows 10 on the release preview channel and also a quick overview of Copilot. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.